Welcome. Today I'm talking about 10 toxic tactics a female covert narcissist uses once obviously the love bombing stage is over and the devaluation stage has started. The idealization and devaluation cycle is a pattern of intermittent reinforcement that deeply confuses your mind, your heart, and your soul. It preys on your deepest human needs and desires, as well as on your neurological motivation and reward pathways. So devaluation is a projection and a discharge of negative emotions that the narcissist has towards their true self. They release that on you. They discharge it on you. It's a defense mechanism to keep you or anyone else from getting close or recognizing their discarded and rejected self. And it is also a method of controlling you and keeping you from rejecting them. You'll never leave them because you're too busy trying to prove your worth to them and eventually to yourself, dedicating all of your time, money, energy, and other resources to this puzzle that you're trying to solve, this quest that you're trying to conquer, and this sense that if you can just prove your worth to her, you will win some grand prize, her unconditional love and approval. But the truth is you're getting sucked into playing her hopelessly rigged long game that ends with you either being discarded if you're lucky or psychologically dominated if you stay in too long. I'm Lisa Blah, I'm a therapist and master life coach practitioner and in this video I'm talking about these 10 toxic tactics of the female covert narcissist and these are the tactics she uses to dominate and control you. And in time, you will very much become like a little puppy dog, seeking her approval, always trying to please her, giving her everything you've got, and in return, getting the bare minimum. She will likely throw you a bone here and there to keep your hopes up. But in the end, it's a very slippery downward slope. And it's really important for People to recognize the signs of a toxic partner, especially when it involves covert narcissism, because their psychological abuse can be very, very insidious. And narcissists, whether covert, overt, or hybrid, are almost always lacking self-awareness, and they take zero responsibility for their abusive behavior or for their own healing. Now, obviously, there are also toxic and abusive covert male narcissists, but I find there is not enough resources for men who are being psychologically abused, which is why this is the focus of my videos. So just a reminder that this content is for informational purposes and it is not intended to replace professional supports or services. And if you like this video, please take a moment to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, so here are 10 toxic tactics of a female covert narcissist in no particular order. Number one, the female covert narcissist will entrust you with her most vulnerable experiences and information. And she'll do this very early on and she'll talk as though you're the special one. She's never trusted anyone like this before. But after the love bombing stage is over, she will start to act as though she made a big mistake trusting you. She will accuse you of doing things to make her feel insecure and unsafe, um, not putting her as a priority, not defending her, not keeping her happy uh, and secure like you promised to do. And this negative shift in her will be entirely your fault. And the only way to get the good version of her back, the version that you fell in love with, is to show her and prove to her that you are good enough, that you are worthy of her trust and of her love, and that you can give her what she needs. So the female covert narcissist will be sending you strong, repeated messages through her words and actions that if you want this, version of her that you had in the beginning and if you want the fant the fantasy future that you envisioned with her you'd better get your shit together and show her that you're the man that you said you'd be so all the pressure to make this relationship work 
quickly falls on you. You need to fix yourself. You need to try harder, learn her. And in order to win the long game, she needs to give you some hope. So she throws you a few crumbs here and there. You have a nice time together, a good conversation, sex. You feel like you're getting somewhere, like your efforts are really paying off. But then, boom, something little, some little thing you said or did sets her off. And again, she's disappointed in you, pulling away from you, blaming and rejecting you. Her sweetness turns bitter no matter what you do. But through this pattern of intermittent reinforcement, you are being trained, you're being programmed to believe that you are defective, you're flawed, and you need to figure out what she needs. And if you don't, you're not worthy of her or anyone else for that matter. Number two, the female covert narcissist is super passive aggressive. And she will create arguments out of thin air by accusing you of being negative, being in a bad mood, uh, having a tone, a look. Even though you're 100% fine and nothing is wrong, she just keeps pushing to find out why you're mad until you actually are mad. Or she baits you into fake fights by pushing other emotional buttons. And once you react, it's all about that. Or maybe instead of accusing you of being mad, she may act upset, but then refuse to tell you what's wrong, refuse to communicate about it, making you beg to find out and beg for forgiveness without even knowing what she's upset about. And after it's all over, you look back and still you don't even know where it came from or what it was about. And that's because it's all fabricated. This is an attempt to discharge her negative emotions onto you, keep the upper hand, and keep you thinking that you are the problem. Number three, she is incredibly defensive, and if you try to talk about something that's important to you or something that's bothering you, she will dismiss, minimize, or shut you down in other ways. She will not be open to hearing you out or to any sort of compromise. And if she's done anything to contribute to the problem, even if the entire problem is something she's done, don't expect her to take any responsibility whatsoever or to apologize to you. And if by some chance you do get an apology, it is a ploy to get you to see that you are ultimately to blame. Number four, the female covert narcissist is extremely careless, impatient, and reckless with your emotions, especially if what is hurting you is related to her. So if you cry or show your sadness, it will not phase her one bit. Zero empathy. She will see it as a weakness and use it against you later. So if you confide any fears or past traumas with her at the beginning of the relationship, you can almost be sure that this will be used during arguments as reasons why you are the way you are and why you are at fault for whatever is happening. Number five, you cannot win with a female covert narcissist. No matter what you say or which way you turn, it will be wrong. You can count on that. For example, let's say you're having an argument and you decide to go for a walk to cool off. She'll be angrier because you're running away without trying to resolve things. If you stay, she'll get even angrier saying you're being too aggressive or pushy. Number six, the female covert narcissist will compare you and your relationship to others. And again, no matter how much you do for her, how much you spend on her, whether it be time, money, energy, it's not going to be enough. You will try harder and harder, but you will still feel unworthy and unappreciated. Meanwhile, she is making very minimal effort or contribution in the relationship, although she will act and seemingly believe that she is doing everything. These comparisons make you feel like you've done something wrong, like you don't deserve the closeness, the connection, and the love, that it's all your fault. And this can pull on your competitive nature, making you want to show her, prove yourself that you are as good or better than the next guy. In the long run, you work harder and harder, not realizing that for every step forward, you're taking several steps back. Number seven, 
Along the same lines, many female covert narcissists will start grading your performance. For example, she might say, you were only a six out of 10 last night, or that vacation was only 40% of what I was expecting. And she will show this chronic dissatisfaction with the amount of affection or compliments you give, how much money you spent with, you know, whatever effort you put in. And she will be, you know, grading and, and measuring your performance to other people, to yourself, just letting you know that you're not satisfying her, leaving you feeling like you're on thin ice, always nitpicking at you, criticizing and putting you and your efforts down again, no matter how hard you try. And so she treats you as though your performance is the bare minimum and you need to step it up ASAP if you want to keep her. And if she is happy for a little while, you can count on this being followed up by more disappointment. And you know, if you grew up with a parent that you can never please, you may find yourself falling right in line with this familiar pattern of begging for crumbs of approval and becoming a pathetic tryhard in a game that, like I said before, is completely rigged against you. So in case you're still uncertain, let me just say it clearly. You cannot win at this game. It is a no-win situation, 100% of the time. Now maybe you'll need to keep trying a little harder, a little longer to really believe this, but let me just say, be careful because you may find yourself stuck in her long game as your entire life passes you by. Number eight, the covert narcissist will have a lot of boundaries that go one way. Any boundaries or rules that you have will be disregarded. And if you need or want anything, it's unimportant or stupid. The double standards when it comes to any type of boundaries is absolutely ridiculous. Number nine, she needs to know and control everything you do. When you go do groceries, you go to the gym, you talk to someone, she accuses you of this, that, and the other. This is not always due to jealousy, but often it's just to do with controlling you. She questions not only what you do, but how you do it as though you can't do anything right. You are treated as completely incompetent and you will likely find yourself starting to doubt yourself on everything. Second guess yourself. Check on Check with her on almost everything that you do, as though you didn't even have a mind of your own. Afraid to make a simple decision in fear of having to deal with guilt trips, silent treatments, and other negative reactions. What you may not have figured out yet is that no matter what you do, the outcome will be the same. It's actually very, very predictable. Number 10. Over time, gradually, you will be stripped of any self-worth and self-respect you ever had. You will be constantly adjusting yourself, trying to figure out what you're doing wrong, how to please her, and eventually you'll look in the mirror only to see a shell of the person that you used to be. You may even start to see the monster that she's painting you out to be, feeling like you are completely unraveling mentally and emotionally. But once you can see these toxic tactics and predictable patterns of abuse more clearly, you will also see that you have become the narcissist's puppy dog, her human pet, completely dominated and broken down psychologically. So don't take my word for it. Just look back to when this relationship started and ask yourself, is she getting better or worse? Has your relationship improved or deteriorated? Are you evolving or devolving emotionally, mentally, spiritually? If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my video on how the female covert narcissist traps you, which I have linked right above.